بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم ما بعد the night is the time and the opportunity for the people of light to draw light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah nur as-samawati wal ard so they say when darkness comes we need to extinguish the darkness through light those that stand up in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala eliminate the darkness in their hearts they eliminate the darkness in the world a person can have a billion dollar check but there's no signature it doesn't help there's no funds in the account it doesn't help a person standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing the amal which is filling his bank account now the bank account is full normally when the bank account is in minus then it's overdrawn imagine reaching a capacity where it's overfilled the bank says don't put any more money you've reached your limit so tahajjud the amal is filling your bank and standing in front of Allah and making dua after that is getting this check signed it's getting this check signed for our needs in dunya and in akhirah so much time Molana Yusuf used to say that the average person needs six hours of sleep five to five and a half hours which should be the night sleep and half an hour to one hour is qaylula if Allah gives us tawfiq we'll get into the topic of qaylula as well so they say those that sleep in this world a lot will not be able to sleep in akhirah and those who sleep less in the world will sleep comfortably in akhirah so the night is an opportunity let us make sure that in the short span of life which Allah has endowed us with we maximize the darkness of the night it is said about Wa bin Munabbih al-Yamani who was born in the 34th year of Hijri in the Khilaf of Uthman an, and he passed away on the 116th year of Hijri he was a Tabi'i مَا وَضَعَ جَنْبَهُ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ ثَلَاثِينَ سَنَةً for 30 years his body never touched the ground to sleep, to lie down and he used to say لَأَنْ أَرَى فِي بَيْتِ شَيْطَانًا I would prefer to see a shaitan, a devil in my house أَحَبْ إِلَيَّ مِنْ أَنْ أَرَى it is more beloved to me than to see in a pillow why? because a pillow invites me and inclines me to sleep and negligence of Allah whereas shaitan will make me more aware and more weary of my purpose and objective in my life he said about him that 40 years of his life had passed and he never rebuked any person he never rebuked any person for 20 years between Isha and Fajr he read with the same hudu if you want to strive then thus is the legacy that these people have left for us what legacy have I left for humanity Imam Ghazali rahimallah says that although it may seem that the Salat at night may be difficult but if a person fulfills certain conditions and he says there's an external condition an internal condition as for the external conditions, he's listed four. Number one, he should not eat 
and drink excessively, especially in the latter part of the night. So if a person has to eat, then his supper should be early and not late. And this late night snacks is detrimental for tahajjud, detrimental to one's health, detrimental to akhirah. So if a person consumes a lot, then uh, he may find it difficult to get up for tahajjud. The mashayikh used to say, لا تأكلوا كثيرا فتشربوا كثيرا Don't eat a lot because if you're going to eat a lot you're going to drink a lot and if you're going to consume a lot you're going to sleep a lot and if you sleep excessively فتتحسروا عند الموت كثيرا Then at the time of death you're going to regret a lot At the time of death you will regret a lot Secondly, a person should not tire themselves so much in the day that they become exhausted and they do not have any vigor or energy for Qiyamul Layl. Number three, Allah yatruk al-qaylula bin nahar. One should not leave qaylula, the siesta, no matter what a short period, if a person has five minutes, it's a, a slumber, a light sleep, a siesta. But let us make amal under sunnah. And number four, A person should abstain from guna in the day. Why? Because ma'asya and sins make the heart hard. And it creates a barrier between him and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hassan used to say that uh, whenever he entered the, the marketplace and he used to hear people speaking, making chat chat, he used to say, I think, I presume, these people's nights are spent in darkness, not in the correct avenue. فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يَقِيلُونَ Because they do not have قَيْلُولَ siesta. So they're busy in chat chat, they've got time for everything else, but they're not keeping in mind that the darkness of the night, they need, need to prepare for that. The Salaf used to say, كَيْفَ يَنْجُوا التَّاجِرْ مِنْ سُوءِ الْحِسَابِ How can a businessman, a trader, be protected from a very difficult hisab kitab and accounting. Why? وَهُوَ يَلْغُوا بِالنَّهَارِ وَيَنَامْ بِالْلَيْلِ When he spends his day in negligence and fruitless activities and he sleeps the entire night. Sufyan ibn Sa'id al-Thawri rahimahullah used to say, عرمت قيام الليل خمسة أشهر بذنب أذنبته I was deprived of tahajjud for five months because of the sin I committed. Imagine, I was deprived of the baraka and the opportunity to get up for five months. So the pious servants of Allah, the closer you get to Allah, the more sensitive you become with regards to Akhirah. So people were shocked. This was Sufyan Thawri. So he said, What guna could you have committed, Sheikh? He said, رَأَيْتُ رَجُلًا يَبْكِي فَقُلْتُ فِي نَفْسِي هَذَا مِرَا I seen somebody crying. Making dua, crying in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, the thought crossed my mind that this person is doing this for show. This person's crying is for show. Allah deprived me of Qiyamul Layl. So we have to be very particular that every amal has an action. This is Darul Asbab, action and reaction. Good draws good, bad draws evil. Some people say we came in the company of Kurz. 
and we seen him in a state of stress and anxiety. So we asked him, Ataka the Ahlika? Was it the death of your family member or some announcement made? Did you come any notice? He said, Ashad was then that. So they asked him again, Wajun, was it any pain, injury, sickness that inflicted you? He said, No, Ashad was then that. So again, Fama Dhaka. What what can be worse than all of this here? He said, Babi Mughlaqun wa Sitri Masbul. That my door has been closed and the curtains have been lowered. The veil, the screen has been lowered. He said, yesterday I did not complete my ma'amulat, my daily routine. I was deprived of doing my daily amal. وَمَا ذَاكَ إِلَّا بِذَنْبٍ أَحْدَثْتُهُ And the only cause for my deprivation was because of the flaw and errors which I have done. So a person misses one amal in his mourning like the death of a family member, like he's got terminal illness and he's going to die. And now the Ummat misses the commands of Allah, the faraiz of Allah, the deen of Allah is dying, and we are not restless. So Imam Ghazali explains, because good invites towards good. And evil invites towards evil. And no matter how small it is, no matter how insignificant it is, the wrong you do will draw more wrongs, even though it may be a small amount. And the good actions and the virtues that you do will draw good. And that's why, according to the statement of Ghazali, Rahimullah, Abu Sulaiman al Darni, Rahimullah used to say, La tafutu ahadan salat al jama'a illa bidhambin. That a person does not get deprived of salat with jama'at except through the wrong he had committed. So when every wrong happens, then it is a means of a person being deprived of good actions. The Mashaykh used to say, Kam min akilatin man'at qiyam laylatin. How much morsels have we consumed that we don't know because of that morsel we've been deprived of? Qiyamul layl. Wa kam min nadharatin man'at qira'at suratin. And how many strange women and men we've looked at and we have been deprived of making tilawat of Qur'an. وَأَنَّ الْعَبْدَ لَيَكُلُوا أَكْلَةً أَوْ يَفْعَلُوا فَعْلَةً فَيُحْرَمُوا بِهَا قِيَامَ سَنَةٍ Sometimes a person does an action and through that action they are deprived of standing in front of Allah for an entire year, for an entire year. Imam Ghazali Rasulullah say, كَمَا أَنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَا أَنِ الْفَحْشَى Like how a person performs salat punctually with the requisites, it will be a means of warding off evil. It will prevent him from committing wrong. وَالْمُنْكَرْ كَذَلِكَ Likewise, evil. If a person perpetually embarks on ma'asyat and sin, then it will deprive him of good deeds. The wrong that you do will deprive you of good deeds. So that's why they say, between Maghrib and Isha, let us try to fill it with ibadah, because the nur of that ibadah 
Allah will give a person tawfiq to increase in uh, tahajjud salat and other amal. And it was the habit of the mashayikh to make fresh wudu, to sleep at wudu, because it is said that thus also assist in qiyamul layl. Those were the four external conditions to make tahajjud easy. Then Imam Ghazali continues to explain the batin, where there are also four hidden qualities which we need to inculcate to make sure that Allah gives us tawfiq for amal in Qiyamul Layl. Number one was salamatul, salamatul qalbi anil haqt that a person's heart should be protected from any hatred or malice or any bad intentions with anybody else. Why? Because if a person has any bad intentions or bad niyats, then this will affect him as well. Min fuduli humumid dunya. And he should not have grief and concern of the dunya because this concern of dunya and this worry and this anxiety will make a person so much engrossed in his dunya that eventually he will lose the importance of amal and the importance of turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now his greatest fikr and worry and concern even in his salat will be this year the Sayyid of Power says, يُخْبِرُنِ الْبَوَّابُ أَنَّكَ نَائِمُ وَأَنْتَ إِذَا اسْتَيْقَذْتَ أَيْذًا فَنَائِمُ That you've got a doorkeeper, a servant that's there, and he's informed me that you are sleeping. So I inquired where so and so, and I was told he's sleeping. So he said, but when you wake up also, you are still sleeping. When you wake up, you are still sleeping. So it's like a person who's in Salat, but is not at all in Salat. He's somewhere else. The second quality, Khawf Ghalibun, that a person should have an overwhelming fear in his heart with less hope for dunya, because if a person has fear of Akhirah and shock and desire for Jannah, then that overwhelming factor will motivate him to increase in amal. It is said that uh, in Basra, there was a slave by the name of Suhaib, and his habit was to stay awake the entire night. So his master one day told him, Like normal, employers and employees the complaint is that it's affecting your work now you're always in Jamaat you're always in the masjid you're making Quran all the time now it's affecting the business so he made the same objective so the answer was given to him that the slave person when he remembers Jahannam, he cannot sleep. When he remembers Jahannam, he cannot sleep. Somebody else who used to stay awake the whole night used to say that when I remember Jahannam, my fear increases. And when I remember Jannah, my desire increases. And when my fear of Jahannam and Jannah, when this kafir comes, how do you expect me to go to sleep? How do you expect me to go to sleep? Tamil for today is that a person, Rewaid in Tabarani Hakim, he goes to fulfill the needs of his brother, then it is better than Atikafi Ashri Sinina, more than 10 years of Atikaf. And one day of Atikaf is the distance between East and West. May Allah give us tawfiq. أو ميك نعمل وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين